Hey guys, I just wanted to start by saying this is obviously presented by the EA Game Changers, and I wanted to thank EA for allowing me to participate at this game capture event. Now we're going to move right into all the specializations. I'm going to move extremely quickly because I just really want to get through with it and give you guys as much info as possible. Uh, here we're going to start with the Axis side. We have the Pla Flak Panzer IV, which is an anti-air vehicle. It's an anti-air tank. Uh, it's got improved transverse rotation, which means the turret moves faster. And then also we have the Field Repair, which is an instant repair. The Zimmerit, which makes it so mines and stuff don't stick to your tank. Improved zoom, pretty obvious what that is. Uh, the next one is the 37mm, which is an upgrade to your gun. The Radar Package, which allows you to see any aircraft on your minimap within 250 meters of you. A Smoke and Mine Launcher. Uh, a Secondary Round, which you can pick up, called the Flaming Onion Round, which does incendiary damage to an aircraft. And then lastly, we also have the Airburst Smoke Shells, which, you know smoke the air and basically make it harder for planes to find ground targets. Next going in we have the Tiger 1. Everybody's seen the Tiger 1, uh, so we're probably going to go through it pretty quickly because uh, you've already seen it. Zimmerit again, the smoke launcher again, increased ammo capacity. Reinforced turret wing makes it so you can't get uh, your ring uh, taken out. Uh, we have an upgraded shell, we have a better transverse rotation, and a heat T round which is a really good penetrator shell. A pineapple wrench which is something interesting, it self repairs you 50% more but it takes 25% longer to complete the repair. So keep the pineapple wrench in mind for these upcoming tanks because it keeps popping up and a lot of people didn't know what it was for in the beta. Next we have the Panzer IV, my favorite. It's a medium tank, smoke launcher, Zimmerit, which I suggest. Flare gun, we got an Imper transverse rotation and s mine again. A case round, which are basically a tungsten, a tungsten shotgun. You basically shoot out a bunch of tiny balls. And then we have a track skirt uh, and then we had an upgrade to the cannon as well. I know I went through that a little fast. Next we have the Zimmerit, the flare launcher here. We got the KWK-38 auto cannon, which means it's an automatic cannon. It shoots continuously. Uh, the S-mine launcher, you can deploy AT mines with the middle one and an APCR round on the right side. Going on from the APCR rounds, we have an improved loading mechanism, uh, the standard fill repair, and also the pineapple wrench. And right there in the middle, we have the spotting scope, which is anytime you zoom in, it'll automatically call out any infantry you see. And that's the lighter tank, the Panzer 38T. Now, moving on to the Allied forces, we're going to start out with the heavy, which is the Churchill gun carrier. It's got reinforced tracks, which is super important because it's very slow. A reinforced engine, which means it won't get shot in the back. And that snake launcher shoots out charges to take out mines. We have an improved loading mechanism, smoke, improved uh, zoom, and then an APCR and a Hesh round, which are both upgrades uh, to your main cannon. And right in the middle there, we have an increased ammo capacity option. Again, the tank launcher, very interesting. It's really good at clearing mines. I haven't tested against other tanks yet, so I'm hoping that it does some damage to them. Uh, but we're going to move on to, this, to the Valentine AA Mark I. And this is the AA for the Allied side. Uh, it's a, very much the same. Maintenance drill basically makes you self-repair twice as fast, but you get half as much. Uh, track skirts obviously help you with not getting tracked. Case rounds. The uh, the flares in the air basically shoot a bunch of flares in the air. Uh, you have an upgrade for the gun, the radar, the smoke, and the improved transverse rotation. So basically the exact same as the other teams. Uh, AA, it's just set up a slightly different. We're going to go into the Mark F 5. Mark 5 right now, yeah. We have a uh, standard repair, the drilling, the track skirts, the case rounds again. Again, an improved loading mechanism in the middle and the mine clearing in the top middle. Then we have deploy T mines, PDR, APCR rounds, and the very top right one was increased ammo capacity. So that's pretty much the same as the other medium tank as well. Now, lastly, the Staghound, it's kind of a mobile car. It gets a field repair, it gets increased ammo capacity. Uh, the Little John adapter is its upgraded gun, it's a 37mm. The Tulip Dumpfire rockets are 60 pound turret mounted rockets. The middle is an AP round if you prefer that instead. Deploy supplies, which deploy supplies to your teammates. The top right is an incendiary launcher with a 20mm auto cannon, which is again an automatic cannon, a maintenance drill, and a spotting scope. So that kind of gives you a good idea. Basically, all the light tanks uh, are, you know, they have an auto cannon. They're obviously going to be able to traverse the land a lot easier, and they're going to be moving a lot faster. The medium tanks are kind of a hybrid of the heavy and the light. You know, you have pretty good mobility speed, you have good travel uh, speed on your turret, and you have pretty strong shells that you can definitely take on a heavy if you want to, whereas the light tank, you can't really take on a heavy tank so well. Uh, and then the heavy ones are basically, you're moving artillery around. You know, you go to a place, you lock down an area, and you have more than enough firepower to keep you sustained, especially if you have a teammate repairing you. 
But so that's it. I wanted to keep it very short, uh, as short as I could, because there's a ton of info in just the tanks. Uh, not a lot of people covered the tanks, but that's everything that you can get from all of them. I'm probably going to make some supplementary videos over the next few days. Uh, but either way, again, this is all due to the EA Game Changer program, and I was able to get this nice, nice, juicy tank info out to you. Uh, and there's one other thing I was going to say. is uh, So basically both teams have uh, one light tank, one medium tank, one heavy tank, and one anti-air tank. That's what it boils down to. And uh, in the in the coming days, when I make some more videos, I will go over a little bit of uh, when there's some more tanks going to be added to the game and all that good stuff. So yeah, I uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for tuning in.